Yo, yo, yo. Hey guys, it's Pop and Jock Slate here. Back with another unboxing. And today, uh, before we get into this, I actually have a question. Imagine the perfect Air Jordan 1. Does it look like this? Does it look like this? Or does it look like this? Or actually, does it look like all of those mixed together? And that's what brings this to the unboxing table today. So this is the Air Jordan One Comfort. And as you see, it comes in this brown box, which is unlike the regular OG Air Jordan One, but it's also different than the Zoom Air Jordan One and the mid Air Jordan One, because this is a different beast entirely. It's a very interesting sneaker. And I'm honestly not sure if it's the perfect Air Jordan One, or maybe it's like the Frankenstein Air Jordan one. So let's jump right into it. As you see, the packaging for this one is next to none. Super, super nice. So it comes, instead of the regular tissue paper, it has this tissue paper wrapped around the shoes. It has like this OG Jordan Wings logo band that goes around it. Like it's really nicely done. Um, and even more than that, they give you details about the shoe on the back of the band. So you have everything, it's the Air Zoom Comfort, uh, designed in Beaverton, it talks about how the collar is made, how the foam is made, how the midsole and outsole is made, the sock liner, it's really interesting. So if you're into shoes and the tech behind shoes, this right here will give you all the details you really need to know about this shoe before you even put your foot inside of these. Now, I actually tried these on earlier and they feel really good. It's a very comfortable shoe. It's a different feel than your regular Jordan one. And it's even different from the Zoom Jordan one, which I thought was incredibly comfortable as well, but it's a different kind of comfort. So let's actually jump into these and they wrap them a lot better when it comes from the store. I just wrapped these back up myself, tried to make it look nice. So honestly, when you get your pair, they'll look better than this. This pair is actually from last year. This is from 2020 and they've been sitting here in the studio and I never took them out of the box and I just recently tried them on this week and it really got me to thinking about what is Jordan brand doing with this shoe? Cause I understand it at some points, but there's parts of it that I just don't understand either. The thing about the Air Jordan one is Jordan brand almost treats it like it's sacred. So very few times do they give you a true to the original version that's different somehow, if that makes sense. For instance, like the Zoom pairs, they just had a Zoom strobo board, but everything else was the same, but they didn't give you the colorways that they wanted. And in this version, uh, I think they're gonna do that same thing. It's a different level of comfort, and on the outside, it looks like an OG Air Jordan 1, but when it comes to the materials, when it comes to how they implement those materials into the shoe, they change all of that. For instance, let's take a look at the collar here. As you see here, it's unfinished, but they also give you this extra padding here to give you that extra level of comfort. And even within there, you have some extra padding to go around your Achilles, which is not something that you really feel supported in the OG Air Jordan 1. The OG Air Jordan 1 has a nylon tongue, whereas this one is foam. Now this may be just this version. This is the Bayou Boys version that they did for Zion. So this one obviously has different materials than they would do for the regular Jordan Comfort if, if that's even going to be a thing. So you have like this denim here on the tongue that goes all the way down. You have the denim here on the side, but then they don't give you a Nike swoosh. They give you an embossed Nike swoosh that kind of takes away from the look, again, of the Air Jordan 1, but then they bring it back with some material flips. So you have like this faux reptile print that's here on the heel and on the wings and across the toe box and here in the midsection. So it kind of feels like that luxury, nicer feel that you've seen with a lot of custom Jordan ones. But then you look to the outsole and you see that there's no rubber. Well, there's rubber, but there's not complete rubber like you would expect on an Air Jordan 1. So this section here, even though it looks a lot like the Zoom Air Jordan 1 where you had that rubber there, this here is just midsole. This is phylon, this is foam. It's a hard foam, but it's just foam, but around the edges you have rubber. So 
Can you play basketball in these? Uh, I'm not sure. Although most people don't play in the Air Jordan 1 just because it would be uncomfortable. If they're making a Jordan Comfort that is more comfortable, playing in the Jordan 1 seems like a viable option for people. But with the foam being here, I don't know how much traction you're going to get when you're trying to stop on a dime if this is foam and doesn't have the sort of traction that you would get with rubber. Uh, it is textured a little bit here on the foam, so I imagine you would get some, but my thought is is that this would wear down pretty quickly, especially if you're wearing it outside. You may be able to get more wear in the gym, but if you're going outside, I have a feeling like this is going to wear down pretty quickly. The other thing about this is even though it looks like a Jordan 1, it also kind of feels like an off-white Jordan 1 because of the unfinished section. So you have this, this mix of, of ideas almost that's going on with the shoe where you see the silhouette of, a, of an OG Air Jordan 1, but then you see the, the feel of the off-white when it comes to the design aesthetic, but then on the outsole, you get the cushioning from the Zoom Air Jordan 1, and this does have zoom. There's zoom here in the heel. It's top loaded on top of the foam. So there's like this mix of ideas where it's kind of like this Frankenstein version of the Air Jordan 1 that is mad comfortable. I, I, I tried these on. I, I think they look great. I like the way that they look. But the thing that I worry about is that Jordan brand will never give us these in the OG colorways. So if you wanted these in the Chicago colorway, the band colorway, the royal colorway, I have the feeling that Jordan brand and the way that they put the OG Jordan 1 on a pedestal, they wouldn't use this version of the shoe to represent those OG colorways, which is a little bit frustrating because as a person who loves the Air Jordan 1, I always want that shoe to be more comfortable. And if you're gonna make a more comfortable version, make it, but still keep the vibe of the OGs that we all want. Um, not that we don't necessarily want this, but we do want that OG vibe. So let's get the OG vibe with the more comfortable shoes. So that's, that's just my thoughts. These are the Comfort Air Jordan 1s, which are different from the Zoom Air Jordan 1s, which is different from the OG Air Jordan 1. So you have this line of three different materials, almost like it's an iPhone 12, the iPhone 12 Pro, and then you have the iPhone 12 mini, but in this situation, it's represented as the Air Jordan 1, and you get all this mix of styles, and it's very, very Frankenstein. Those are, those are just my thoughts, and that's not to say that you shouldn't go get a pair of these. These are mad comfortable, and I do like that they went out of the box and did these colorways, but I also definitely want to see an OG version of these in the regular colors. That way, we can have the comfort and have the OG vibes, and no one will know the difference, especially for people that uh, don't really care about sneakers. I just want the colorways and the comfort. Let me know, what do you guys think of the Air Jordan 1 comfort? Is this a vibe that you're into? Do you like the way that they feel? Because I like the way that they feel. Um, and what about the way that they look, the style, the aesthetic, the design, all of those things kind of make this a bit of a Frankenstein, or maybe for you, it could be the perfect Frankenstein sneaker. I don't know, let me know. All right guys, as always, I appreciate you. Make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe and all that good stuff. I'm Jacques Slade, and I'll see you soon. Peace.